this is insane. It's like you sat here yesterday. And this has probably been left here for about 50 to 60 years. 19... 1949, everyone. These here. This must have been the lady and man of the house. Genuine Ford part accessories. farm area. Yeah. So yeah, this is a washer and dryer. You put all your, your stuff in there. I think this is like a water pump here. I think that was, yeah, I think there's a water pump of some sort. Put all your clothes in, spin them around, and then you dry them through here. Or maybe when you turn that, I actually rolled these. Yeah, that's super old. Yeah, I like that. I mean, if that's in here, what else is here? <laughs> oh, a really old furnace. <laughs> that's super old. Whiskey or something. Yeah, I think that's whiskey of some sort. Oh, oh, Josh. What? More jars. But these are actual, you can see these are vegetables and stuff. So no uh, bugs in a jar. <laughs> Not in this one. This is awesome. Lots of fruit up there as well. Remember we went inside the Italy abandoned mansion and we found the old uh, wine cellars. Oh, I don't know, was that with you? No, I wasn't there. Oh, damn. You wouldn't take me to that one. Damn, sorry, I was <laughs> forgot. So I could have sworn it was you. I guess you're right. I remember I was with Steve and someone else. Yeah, Steve was there. What is this? Shrapnel. I don't know what that is. It looks cool. Some, some sort of rich name brand. I just like looking at the old jar shapes. You know what? <laughs> Out of all the houses we filmed in the last four or five days, how much videos we created, I think everyone knows what things hair look like from back in the day now. We filmed so yeah. many houses <laughs> and farmhouses, it's literally insane. Way too many. Too many. So much death. <laughs> death. Every house just. Death, abandoned death. It's so morbid and dark. What's over there, John? Yeah, I'll be upstairs. I'm just looking through. Oh, what is over here? Oh, I was just here. Wait, was I? No, it's another oven. Look at that. Josh pointed out something that this was actually a red it's a stone bake oven, yeah. Stone bake oven. I've never yeah. seen a stone yeah, so, bake oven yeah. before. So, from what everyone was telling me, that this is a stone brick. This yeah. is a. From what everyone was telling me, this is a stone bake oven. 
So what they do with this part is they put loads of firewood to one side of it right. and then you'd scoop your pizzas over that side oh. and the heat from the wood would give it this really nice stone baked, um, you know, char grilled taste right. to it. It's really nice. Do they, do they still do that? Uh, oh yeah. They do that modern times? Yeah. You oh, yeah. have pizza like that? All the time from most Italians. In fact, uh, no, the Italian we went to last night was a modern day oven, but most Italian places, uh, even even in the UK, have a stone baked oven. And when we was in Italy, right. everything was stone baked. There wasn't everything. A, yeah, yeah. There wasn't no electric ovens. Oh, that's unique. This is definitely a time capsule house. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to take finer looks at things, but first I'm going to go around and see. Wow. Damn, look at this, look at the wire. Like how, what, 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 look at that. It's made out of wood, not even metal. I've never seen anything like this ever. Yeah, this is a cool find in the photo in the back. Wow, it's actually a, it's a wood lamp, it's a wooden uh, chandelier. Oh, I didn't even, oh, I didn't even know that. Dude. Yeah. 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 Yeah a lot of houses while we've been on this trip but do you know what they started to get a bit boring out I, I wouldn't say boring but repetitive it was hard to talk about them. but this place is actually a breath of fresh air because of how old it is everything is different the the, the, the things in here are made out of wood instead of metal it's that old so they say it's been abandoned since like the 40s or 50s um, I'm walking around, I'm definitely seeing that. I'm seeing some electrical items, but a lot of it is like gas items. Instead of electric, it's wo uh, instead of metal, it's wooden. So let's keep exploring and see what else we can find. Yeah, this is insane. I could imagine like this really rich guy sat there at his table, weighing out his money. He's, he could have been even dealing in gold. <laughs> Because this is state that we're on. In fact, Luxembourg itself is beautiful. We drove through it for about half an hour. I haven't seen a small house yet. Everyone lives in mansions. So there's a lot of money around here. So, yeah, I'm guessing this was a wealthy person's house. This is insane. It's like you sat here yesterday. And this has probably been left here for about 50 to 60 years. <laughs> 50 to, let that sink in, 50 to 60 years, this has just been sat here. Dude, that's like... Haunting. Age. That's double my age right now. It's like <laughs> nearly triple your age. Yeah, that's crazy. Just think, <clears throat> when no one's around, this is, this is, this is one thing that I really think about a lot. I don't know if it's me, it's kind of strange, but this stuff, when no one's around, when we're not around, other explorers are not around, this stuff is just sat here in utter silence for years and years and years on end. And for me, I find, I find that really weird, knowing that this place can just stay silent for so many years. I love this lamp. This lamp is almost like a steampunk style. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Right, let's go and take a look at the rest of the house. But I'm really impressed so far. This has been a breath of fresh air. Oh look, at, oh, look at the stairway. Oh, now that's insane. Have you walked up there? Uh, yeah, Carl did. Oh, is it? Oh, so it should be okay. <laughs> should be. But a projector? No. Screen, what the hell? We don't know what happened with that. That's weird. Yeah. And there's a tele- I Oh! I think they might have been. Someone might have been doing a bit of filming here. Cause look, I know the director. RTL director's chair. Yeah. That's what I know. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Weird. Let's go and see what else we can find. What other clues? <laughs> now that's a big clue right there. I don't know if you can see that well, but the spider webs up there are incredible. 
can't even believe I'm walking towards them. I'm, I'm not going to walk any closer towards them, but I can already see monster, and I mean monster sized spiders. I mean, look at the skeleton of that one there. I don't even know well, how well you can see. Why is the hallway so long? I don't know. <laughs> but look at the spider webs. Dude, this is a spider hallway. Oh, there's a white spider there. What? It's like a white one. I don't know if it's a skeleton or. I don't know. There's just so many. I just can't believe this hallway. It's a long hallway. It's been, look at there's two ways in the house. You walk all the way down here, but you can go back out the backyard, and you just walk in here. <laughs> That's the most weirdest setup. Alright, well, I'm gonna go upstairs. I wanna risk it, because these stairs don't really look that sick. No, look above you. Look here. I just saw someone walk past upstairs. Oh! <laughs> There's a hole in the floor. Alright. Be careful. I'm coming up behind you. I wait for me, though. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Josh weighs a lot, so I've gotta stay behind, <laughs> back away from him. <laughs> I'm going up. Look at these stairs. It's insane. Dude. Yeah, we really gotta be careful. Very careful. What's over there? I'm gonna go explore. Keep that book Spiders? Yeah. Alright. I don't know where to walk on the floor. the old little chandelier there. Definitely took my time getting up those stairs, they're very dangerous. All the plaster that's falling off the off the wall is sitting all on the stairs as well. What? I'm trying to work out how you use this old bedpan. Oh. Just stick your doodah in and use that to empty it. Empty it? Is it? Yeah. It's rough and hard. Yeah. What's rough are these floors? Yeah, no, st stay where the nails are so you're on a beam. It's not through since the next door, innit? Really? Yeah, yeah. What smells this house? That's yeah, the next house. <laughs> <laughs> in the next house. Go on, bro, go. I don't know what it is. I'm coming with you. I'll go first then. Oh, look at these super old oh, pictures here. Again. Again, we have that religious stuff on the walls. Super old furnace. And this is the jacket right here. Jacket still hung up. Well, it's a shirt actually. But it's some newspaper stuff there. Does it have a date on it? Unfortunately I can't see a date on this. So many books on the floor. Loads of books. Of this staircase. Really old books in here. Oh wow, his shoes are still there. I'm pretty sure that was for snuff. Oh, what's that? That's a key to something. A key for what? If anyone knows something that I don't, Make sure you leave a comment below. I, I rely on you guys 100% to, to inform me and everyone else what you're seeing. Because, uh, you know, I'm no historian. I just a bed in a chandelier in there. But I like this room. Oh, wow. Let's go and check over here where the rug is. It's just the top floor, obviously, where the dance coming through. Wow. <laughs> C cigarette butts? <laughs> cigarette butts still there. Uh... Oh wow, still stuff in the drawers. 
can't believe there's still stuff in the drawers. Oh, that's empty. That isn't, oh wait, there's a calendar. See, I am listening to you guys. I am paying attention. <laughs> a lot more detail. 19, 1949, everyone. That was the last time this place was lived in. 1949. Wait, hang on, how do you clarify that? Coming in. 1940. Whoa. 1949. Wait, this place was last lived in. Watch, oh. watch the floors. There's a calendar still on the wall. 1949. Good call, man. This is the abandoned house of 1949. Oh my god. That's yes. abandoned house. The abandoned okay. house of the 19 of 1949. That's legit. That is legit. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the oldest house. I'd say this is the oldest house I even stepped. Hundred percent, the say. oldest abandoned house I've ever visited, with belongings still inside. Insane. Cloud house. Cloud house. Yeah, but the cloud house was last lived in 1957 because it had a 1957 almanac there. I remember that. I took a yeah. picture of it. So, so this is the oldest. This house. is the oldest. Wait, wait, let's get that on. We're getting this on video camera to claim. But this is the oldest house we have all ever ventured into. This yeah. still has everything inside. I mean, the Cloud House was 1957. There was a 1957 almanac in the Cloud House, but this beats it by 10 years. And this actually has more possessions inside it still. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's man. I actually, yeah. this is so huge. I mean, clothing. Yeah. His shoes are over there behind the door. Oh, still okay. sat there like he left them yesterday, so yep. it's insane. Damn. Exciting stuff. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, I'm pretty excited about being in here. This is the oldest place I've ever explored that's been abandoned and still has possessions. It's, yeah, it's blown my mind. There's another small room here. That's crazy. Yeah, that is 100% legit. I, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen so much stuff completely abandoned like this. and old oh wow oh, this floor is very very dangerous but I've got to take a look at these honestly if I if I was to say I w don't come in here yet I would say they're real whatever they are they're real and these here this must have been the lady and man of the house. Has to be. Look at those. This place is 100% legit. Oh, look at the frames. The frames are absolutely amazing. Let me try and get a better, better look at these. Look at the frames. This is insane. Super dangerous. Super, super dangerous, but so worth it. Like those over there. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They definitely, the picture frames, oil paintings, and they're just decaying, but they look, they look like they're really rare. Could be <laughs> Da Vinci's or anything. There's an old bed there. I'm gonna get out of this room, it's super dangerous. Oh, an old waffle maker. Would you look at that? <laughs> 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 oh, that's the old projector. Oh yeah. I didn't even see that. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> How old is that thing, do you reckon? If anyone's clued up, leave a comment below. Is it an ancient projector? I mean, of course it's ancient, but how old is that projector? Oh, there's another pl part of the plane here. You see the model plane? Yeah. Yeah, there's another part of it there. Yeah. That's really cool. I'm going to skip past you, Carl. Yeah, oh, wait, here's another painting here. Look at that. That is insane. There's no date on it though, I can't see a date. It's all corroding, it's all falling into bits. But it is still there for now. I think that's a switchboard. A lot of books in here. 
and a bed. Oh, there's a foot. Oh, wait, wait, Carl. Yeah, what? I might have stumbled across here that no one else has seen yet. What is it? So this, when you, used to, when you used to buy car parts back in the day, like in the 30s and 40s, 50s, when you buy a part, especially from forward, they come in like a proper wooden box and stuff. Yeah. There's a genuine, oh, yeah, no. genuine Ford wooden box there. Genuine Ford part accessories. Crazy, Handle with care. Service parts from Ford Works. That's cool. That's really, really cool. I'm so happy I saw that. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, really. You, you know what? You know what? I know some of you Ford collectors out there would kill for that box. We can't take anything, unfortunately. I mean, it's such a shame. If I could, I would. Some places take the stuff and just give it to give it to museums and stuff. But then again, it comes down to I don't have the right to do that. This was someone's home. This is these were their possessions, and this is where the rotten in time is. Is it my right to take them and save them? I don't think it is. As much as I would love to, I just don't think we have a right. Well, this is a box of something as well. I'm not sure what it is though. I love these old crates. They're so amazing. Oh, I'm pretty much sure that is it for this house. It's been amazing. So glad I got to see this. Definitely one of my favourite houses I've ever done. But now it's time to get out of here. Get across this super dangerous floor. This is the last room I've not seen. There's not too much in here. A lot of trinkets, a little Bible, and on the side here, again, trinkets, cigarettes, the babushka's uh, scarf. We're ready to go, we're ready to get out of here. I think the spiders have been good enough so far. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait a minute, that is an amazing fridge. I keep seeing these fridges, I really want one. Shall we open it? No one else has opened it. No. Let's do it. I'm going to let you do it now. Yep. <laughs> Come on, John. Well, I don't think it's got anything in it. Really? It looks empty. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're ready. Oh, scared me. <laughs> That is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've watched it all to the, you know, got to this end of the video, consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. And if you want to support me, click the join button. Clicking that button will enable a $4.99 subscription, but it'll open up new perks. You'll have an exclusive badge next to your name so everyone can know you're a part of hashtag Team Fires. You get an exclusive icon for when I go live. You also get access to exclusive seasonal merch like the Halloween t-shirts, the Christmas t-shirts. I also do promotional discount codes on merch. And all the money that I raise on that will literally go towards traveling because traveling does cost a lot of money. And to be honest, whatever we make on YouTube doesn't cover all this. Like we're always dipping in our own pocket, always using our own money to do this. So eventually, yeah. The adventure's got to end at some point, but with your support, I'll continue doing all this. And any money that's raised will literally go to more explorers, including Estonia, Germany, and Japan. I can do exclusive live streams for members only. And maybe once a month, I'll just do a sit down talk with members for an hour and just chat to all the members. What are we going to do now, boys? I think we should hit up that bunker. Bunker? I'm down for a bunker. Oh, underground bunker series. Bunkers. Underground series continues. You already know. Bunker gang. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Wow. Was it abandoned? It was, uh, apparently it was abandoned in 1939, was it? Oh my god, bro. 
Holy shit. Whoa, I caught it the bar. Bro. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh my god. Okay, so right now we are deep in the ground. We are in the Maginot line in France. Alright, we'll see if we can make it back in time. 